This is a chest x-ray AP view of an elderly woman taken in the ICU. What we see here is a complete whiteout or a completely opaque left hemithorax. What is important to note here that there is cardiomediastinal shift. So what has actually happened is that the opacity is pushing the heart as well as the trachea to the opposite side. When we come across such a finding, it is important for us to actually note the position of the trachea. It is ideally supposed to be central, but if we see it pushed away from the opacified side, such as in this case, we are looking at uh, perhaps a massive pleural effusion versus a large pulmonary mass. It can also occur in sometimes in a diaphragmatic hernia, but in those conditions you would of course see bowel also being part of uh, that opacity on the left. So in this patient particularly, we are looking at a pleural effusion versus a large pulmonary mass. If the trachea were to be pulled to the same side, that is towards the left, we would be looking at a large collapse uh, being uh, causing the whiteout along with a small effusion or a pneumonectomy. But uh, in this patient, if I come back to the clinical status, this patient was very breathless. So we uh, made the patient sit up and uh, take an x-ray in a standing position. And what we see here is that we do have a little bit of lung aeration at the left upper lobe. We still have the cardiomediastinal shift to the opposite side, to the right side. We put the patient on a CT scan table to just know what uh, the problem was. And what we see here is a massive left-sided pleural effusion with the fluid completely occupying uh, the left chest. There's underlying lung collapse as we can see and the heart is shifted to the opposite side. We decided to go ahead and treat the patient by actually doing an intercostal drainage. Once the intercostal drainage was done, we uh, again decided to do a CT scan just to look for any endobronchial mass lesion or invasion uh, caused by any tumor which could have caused the complete whiteout like the collapse as well as the consolidation. So you can see on these pictures both on the axials and the coronals that uh, the pleural effusion has been almost completely drained by the ICD. The ICD happens to be uh, nicely positioned and uh, uh, the review of uh, the trachea and the bronchi do not reveal any endobronchial lesion. So this happened to be a case of a massive pleural effusion with no underlying lung mass. So when we look at causes of pleural effusion, we look to divide it into a transudate versus exudate or also on the type of fluid. Transudative causes are several but Easy to remember is organ failure. So liver failure, cardiac failure or renal failure can cause a transudative amount of fluid that comes in the chest. If it is cardiac, usually it might be on the right side, but of course it could be bilateral. Other causes of course could be a reduced uh, albumin as well as anemia. Another important cause of transudative is make syndrome in which you have a female patient with an ovarian cyst along with uh, an ipsilateral one-sided pleural effusion. If you look at executive causes, you're looking at uh, basically infections, so tuberculosis tops the list. But of course, there can be any lung condition that is irritating the lung or infection that can give rise to a pleural effusion. So synneumonic effusions in pneumonias or even pleural effusions in pulmonary embolisms and pulmonary infarcts can be seen. If we happen to divide the fluid according to the type of fluid. You're looking at serous versus pus like empyma or blood like in hemothorax or even cancers and tuberculosis as well as chylus sometimes if there is a thoracic duct injury. So these are the causes of uh, pleural effusion and uh, if we look again at the x-ray in summary when you come across a complete whiteout of the lung you have to take a good look at the trachea as to whether it is central or it has been pushed to the opposite side and like in this case if it was pushed to the opposite side you are looking at a condition which might involve a large pleural effusion or an underlying pulmonary mass.